Hi, this is Deacon Jeff, and today we're going to talk about how to get the most out of watching Mass online. When 2020 started, who could have imagined we'd be struck by a pandemic that briefly stopped the public celebration of the Mass? And who would have imagined restrictions on publicly celebrating the Mass would still be in effect months later? Yet, this is where we are today. In dioceses across the United States, and indeed around the world, bishops have made difficult but necessary decisions to protect the health of the faithful. In many cases, this includes a dispensation from assisting at Mass for those at high risk of complications from this virus. This includes the elderly, the very young, and those of underlying health conditions. Recognizing the need to give the faithful opportunities to assist at Mass, most parishes are now live streaming Mass so people can be part of the Mass from the safety of their homes. Watching Mass on a computer screen, phone, or TV is certainly a different experience. So how can we get the most out of this experience? The answer is simple. Treat watching Mass at home the same way you would if you were in person. Now did you notice in the dispensation the phrase is, dispense of the obligation to assist at Mass. Assist is an important word. We as the faithful are not passive observers when we attend Mass. We are supposed to be actively engaged, singing to the best of our ability, responding to prayers, joining in prayer, listening to the readings and the homily. And it should be no different when we watch Mass at home. So what can you do to make assisting in a live stream Mass more like being at Mass in person? Well, consider dressing up like you were going to church. Break that stay-at-home routine and put on your Sunday best. If your parish offers a Mass aid, print it out and have it ready. Next, arrive early. When we go to church, Usually we get there early to pray and collect ourselves before Mass begins. Do the same at home. Put away the distractions. Silence your phone so that you can mentally and spiritually prepare yourself for Mass. If you're using your TV to view Mass, consider placing a crucifix or Bible on the coffee table to create a sacred space in your domestic church. And before Mass begins, pray and offer to God your thanks and your concerns. When the live stream begins, stand and sing just like you would do at Mass in person. Pray with your fellow parishioners to Gloria. Sit for the readings and listen to the message God has for you. Stand for the gospel as the word is proclaimed. During the homily, sit and be attentive. Don't cheat and top off your coffee. After all, would you do that at Mass? During the liturgy of the Eucharist, Stay engaged and participate just like you were physically there in the church. Stand and kneel at the appropriate times. Respond to the prayers. Say the Our Father as part of a virtual community and offer those around you a sign of peace. While you cannot receive Holy Communion at home, you can still participate in the Eucharist through the prayer of spiritual communion. When you are dismissed from Mass, Take a few minutes in quiet prayer to thank God for the blessings you have and to pray for the well-being of others during this pandemic. That quiet time is important and it creates a separation between being part of the live stream mass and the resumption of your normal routines. Keeping yourself spiritually grounded is important all the time, but especially so during challenging times. Assisting in live stream Mass is just one way to boost your spiritual health. We will look at other things we can do for our spiritual health while at home in another post. May God's grace and peace be with you.